beautiful black people. Hope that all is well in your world. And this day was a very, very good day for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful black loved ones. Beautiful black people. There is a myth, M-Y-T-H, of individualism. There is a myth regarding black folks. Slavery, subjugation, dehumanization, and institutional lies, oppression of black folks are not the stuff of which strong, communal foundations are built. Our, our ancestors was script, script of that, and so were we. Unlike other ethnic groups, black folks can only draw on what our American path has taught us, and racist white folks drove, created, propagated, proliferated all of that bullshit about black folks, about our, our ancestors. And they're still creating, propagating all of that bullshit about black folks today. Hence is why all of these racist, small-minded, empty vessel, white cops are so quick to pull out a gun and shoot black folks dead. Black women, black men, black children. It does not matter to them. All they see is our black skin and all they think about is all of that bullshit that have been socially engineered into their psyche about black folks. Do you know that the buy now, pay later process status, condition. It's just another way to, to trap, to enslave black folks. Stay away from those buy now, pay later situations, my beautifully intelligent black brothers and sisters. Even today in August of 2020, too many black folks still define their own self-worth through their material possessions. Too many black folks still de define their own self-worth through their material possessions. That kind of conditioning, that kind of conditioning feeds that impulse, also affects business relationships. Many of us black folks take pride in having our own thing, doing it our way. No matter how we struggle, it offsets societal's forces that remind us of our powerlessness. If we practice this individualism, it tends to offset 
all of the societal pressures on us by racist white folks. And we forget about our powerlessness. The media, the white control racist mass media, constantly preaches the sermon of rugged individualism. While white folks, while white folks, they preach that individualism bullshit to black folks. While white folks and other races merge their finances, their property, their thoughts, their plans their successes, etc., etc. They will merge their possessions. They will form organizations. They will form affiliations. And they will develop a cadre to control the economic systems that benefit them the most. That is the story of Asian folks, of Middle Eastern folks, of Indian folks, of Irish folks, of all of those other folks that came to this plantation called America. Fifty years ago, owners of black-owned advertising agencies came together to form an association like white-owned firms do every day. This association would make black folks stronger and more competitive would make black businesses stronger and more competitive. By the way, two major black banks just recently merged, and now their assets will be more than a billion dollars. And this merger will create a monopoly in the black banking arena. And this merger will be the main player in that business arena regarding black-owned and black-operated banks. Yet even though all of our futures were in peril, we were never able to establish a strong association. That was 50 years ago when these black-owned advertising agencies tried to form an association that would give them better leverage, that would give, the, that would give them more opportunities, more businesses, etc., etc. And it did not work out very well. Black folks are always challenged to find any major merger or acquisitions in the black business arena. Find one that worked out. We are busy practicing individualism while white folks and other ethnic groups are busy merging, making themselves wealthier and stronger financially. Now, there have been successful black companies that have been sold or bought out by white-owned companies. But rarely do you see black businesses from the corporate to the mom-and-pop store levels 
combine talents and share resources with the intent of dominating an industry or a neighborhood. Black folks need to cease this individualism thing and merge, aggregate, love, and support each other. That's what we need to do. There was a black researcher named Derek Dingle. He was the executive editor of Black Enterprise Magazine. He identified a reason why black entrepreneurs are hesitant to partner or merge with other black-owned businesses. For the most part, he said, black-owned businesses have been companies where you've had, where they have had a singular vision, a singular vision. You've had an individual who has done all the spade work, all of the hard work. Therefore, these individuals think, why should I give up a piece of my enterprise after I put in all of the sweat, tears, and equity? Well, that model of doing business may have worked for us black folks in the path. But the business world is changing with our present situation going into the future, especially in terms of assessing the same size and scale of contracts out of necessity. We will have to form partnerships my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. Mr. Dingle also added, as an example, he mentioned the recent merger between two African-American firms, RS Information Systems and One Source Consulting Incorporated. That partnership enabled the two black-owned firms to become a billion-dollar contractor with the federal government. And that's the type of ideals that these two major black banks that recently merged are going to do. They are putting themselves in a position where they can be more successful, have more clients, employ more black folks, get into the next level will be a challenge while other ethnicities operate on the innate principle of cultural collectivism. They have that. They have that cultural, community, communal, collective aggregation. Other ethnicities have that. Black folks do not. We must maneuver in the ego swelling arena of individualism, which is often just a euphemism for isolation, isolationism. Individual, individualism is just another euphemism for isolationism. Because of our disunity because of the disunity of black folks. 
we have disdain for cooperation and coalescence among ourselves. We cannot aggregate and organize and work together on one accord to better all of us. Consequently, we isolate ourselves from the possible benefits of collective development and business sustainability. My beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters, we must again learn, learn to love and support each other. Our ancestors on the continent of Africa practice, they pra practice a system that was called Ubuntu, Ubuntu, and you spell it U-N-B-U-T. And it is pronounced Ubuntu, Ubuntu. And it means that all of those black African folks were in this thing together. They had that collective communal foundation. They were all in it together. And they also believed that, and I will say it this way, I am because we are. Every black African were who they were because of the collective agreement of all African people that said, I am because we are. I am who I am because we are who we are. If we would take that and use it as our mantra in the business arena, when we work when we merge, when we aggregate, when we organize on one accord and see how those mergers will benefit all of us equally, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. That's all I have on this one.